So there's some other ones. Okay, Morphling. Morphling. Yeah, we, here we go. Morphling mid most likely into yeah. the... This is a, I mean, this is probably the more exciting lane, I would imagine, to look at the shards, the stun, uh -huh. flesh, constant kill threats onto the Phoenix, maybe even onto CK. Bottom lane. Those sprays are stacking up, but oh, damage from Saxon 33 is enough to burst through Crystalis and take him out. This is even give a bit of a chase down onto Puppy. Uh -oh. He might go and down too. Him off as well. Saxon will be ready to dive in under the tower. It's a lane starting off with a double kill for 33. That is. And on this bottom lane. Puppy in particular has to be very careful. I mean, Crystalis as well, honestly. Oh, the sidekick. With the rebound, full sprays are stacking up. Good God. Uh, they've, at this stage, with the lead that they've already managed to get against the Bristol, it very much seems that prepared for Saxon to turn up and turn things around. Just like he was doing in game one as in Hoodsburg. Bottom lane. Another jump over towards Puppy. It's Puppy and Chrysalis try and stand their ground, but Puppy goes down. Chrysalis might have a chance to chase Saxon out this time as Saxon has he got any further options of getting away. He doesn't, so Chrysalis finally finding a bit of action going in his direction. Honestly, maybe. Lane to take down the Bristol. Chrysalis, whilst there's been a few deaths here and there, he, he's got through the rough bit. The lane. But, but this is level six already. That is pretty massive for 33, having it this early on. The flag is going to be up to. Caught him in the shards, Nisha. He'll look to step over and finish off the kill. He'll get it. Zayats should go down into the spark rate. So both mids able to take a kill out of this one. He's, here. He's turned up with the familiars, ready to chase out Nisha. Nisha's got a fair few one charges. Only a level one shift. Back of car. The burst is there from nine. It ends up being a double kill for the mid arc warden. And they do a dynamic change. Yep. They're going to put the Visage mid, have him match up versus that Morphling, and they're going to send the arc warden for the time being down bottom. Top lane. Trying to go for snaking. They do connect with the stun. Nice play. Secret. They get in and take him down and will in fact see Tundra sort of bail out from this top lane. Of course, last game. Very much saw that Secret. They never really found that chance to sort of get Crystal's involved. Top lane snaking. Down with the dive. Doesn't Dive's matter. Been... Nisha, he's got those final few right clicks chasing him down. You get the kill, so things looking. Looking good here for Nisha. You know, despite the quick Midas timing on nine, Nisha very much Dangerous. close Dangerous. behind him in farm. And he's got this matchup always. It's, she sucks, sucks. Man, she get on him. He's got anything to rebound out towards. He doesn't. They Secret, they hold him in the river. Able to bring it up even now, six to six. There. Tundra's staying pretty hidden outside of the vision of Secret. I mean, Secret, they know that Tundra do have a few up here in the jungle. If they get any big kills, Secret could even look for Roche, potentially. They're gonna settle for Saxa. So it catches wind of the Marcy off to the side. They're going for Saxa. To for Tundra, definitely not the them. Even Saxa now showing mid. He might get punished for this. They got him before. Looks like they're gonna go for him again. Let's see if they can find him, Zayas. They get, they get, I don't think they got vision up for a second. Now they did. Saxa has skied him by his side, but too much. Won't be able to jump over towards him in time. Try and poke up into the triangle of secret quite yet. Maybe they will with Skeeter at the front. He's actually going to go for Puppy. See so Chrysalis now. Chrysalis starts to try and push back Tundra. Nisha. Secret's all coming. It's coming in from the side there. But there's no one over on Skeeter. But Sax is in with the rebound. Stone up to Nisha. Nisha. Starting to try and shift. But that's has gone. He's got Aegis though. He's going to be back for round two. Chrysalis charging him with a BKB. Over towards the Phoenix with Snake. He's going to get the Supernova off. Secret, they've got to back away from the ultimate for now. As nine turns up with the Tempest double. No longer an easy fight for Secret to charge into. Zayas, he's trying to find some sort of angle from the side. But Tundra, they're here as a full fight, man. They're looking for Snakey, but the dives back up. They get the stun control out of the Skeeter. Skeeter turns with the stun himself, but he's life stealing back up. It's not enough, though. Skeeter goes down. Secret. Able to get one kill out of this, maybe more. Crystalis trying well, to beat the charge. Secret, they want to they get something else out of this. Tundra, Zayas are in the trees, ready to, to sort of expect that entrance from the toss from. Back in action, talking about the toss, Zayats, woo -hoo. then with a jump, they lock down Snaking, Skeeter looks to turn, they've got the climbing control out, but Skeeter's trapped, he's not trapped on the low ground, he'll stand his ground, the turtle was ready, the Prince is coming out, Holy. they can't take out the two of them, it's a double kill for nine! Oh my, it was so Soxa gets the two-man rebound and they get the chain stun oh from man. the birds, I mean, oh man. This time round, a very much case of secret. I know that Secret's playing over on Tundra's half the map around their jungle. They're feeling incredibly strong with this with this newfound AC on 33. This is a tough time for Secret to take a fight. They also disassembled to the BKBs and ready. With the Tempest doubling, start things off with the Glyph, and they grab back Zayat. 
Secret, they've got to run. Hey, that's also really cool that he can do with the blink too, right? Now he's, like we were saying before, they need to stay kind of rallied around Puppy. Make sure that they can utilize these auras at a maximum. Tundra just rotating sort of all the way around where Secret tried to step out for. They found Puppy. They're going to be able to get on the easy kill first. Straight on over the chair. Puppy caught by the Hex. Taken down. Zions tries to roll in, but there's no place for him here. Puppy pig pulled himself. Doesn't even get to get any heals off or anything. No Wraith Pack, no mech. Caught by the stun anyway, so likely dies. But now yeah, but it's an option for them to go for Roche. Out on the field. And things are starting to get a bit scary because the scaling for Tundra is getting quite strong. Even the Marcy, level 12 is online. BKB is on the horizon. 12 on Phoenix. Game plan for Secret is starting to get kind of dissuaded. Around the mid, they do find 33. Okay. Allen on his own. He's very eight, though. Does not quite at the timing that they would have hoped for, especially considering the decent start they did have to this game. Zayat, with the one left behind up top. Could have been Tundra, everybody back on the map now. Again, pop those Phantasm to send out to all these side lanes. Bottom is being pushed, but immediately nine goes down. So again, sticking together, Tundra, and they will just find a freebie. They will indeed, Zayas. I mean, anyone that they catch with the farm that Skeeter has. And now the fans. Oh, this is dirty. Look at these birds. Birds with magnetic field magic resistance. The attack. I mean, they're just so I strong. Did. They are huge annoyance to deal with here for Secret. We'll go for the resummon. Stun, he's greener. He's low, but he's still got 20 seconds or so left on the ages. He's gonna back off. We'll see them catch out the two of them with the root. Skeeter focuses in. I'll be him going down. Rental. The final few seconds of the ages. He's ready for round two. Saxa, he'll charge him with the unleash of the BKB. Quickly turning towards him with his right flicks. Now put an end to the Marcy's life. Saxa to fall. Round now on the Chrysalis. Skeeter and 33, they get back in on top of the Bristol. They take him down. Nisha, top of the BKB. That was using the retreat back Skeeter's on the high ground. He's in straight away. Blinks up into the high ground. They've got the lockdown over towards Nisha. Wave four back up in time. Nisha gets away. Double buyback from Secret. They're putting everything into this defense. But Skeeter's in with a count bar over towards Resolution. It doesn't matter though. Skeeter goes down. Secret with the two buybacks. Woo! They'll be able to hold and push Tundra back. Secret. But they'll want, they'll want more. They got to push forward for sure. Priscilla spending up for that one. See up to the side. Zayats. Got the catch though, the gap control onto Snake King. Snake King popped the super over, but Chrysalis is gonna die. And he's ready to help take the egg down. Secret. They'll find another down bottom. Rezo. He's got his eyes on Nice. Oh. That's already been used, and he's out in time. Nine. Able to get away before these still put a stop to him. They'll still clean up the Tempest double. A secret. With this sort of pushback, they're able to bring in the mid lane, bring in the bottom lane. They got to smoke, sweep the map. They still have some heroes dead. Ult's on cooldown. Try to get as much as you can out of all. Yeah, they've got to keep their foot slammed down on the middle. Oh, Here's the shot. The point 33 off the shot. Took himself for now, but they're surrounding, and he's got nobody else in the area. So 33, he'll go down. Secret. They continue to play it hard and fast, fighting back. Big a tundra. I hear carry any sort of game to the later stages when he's on his small fling. So top lane. So of course now done. Rezo, very nine. He's very deep. There's a hex. Look at the opening hex. And Rezo is going to be able to get anything off. He's not. Phantasm's out. An overwhelming amount of damage there from Skeeter and the Phantasm. And of course this game 4-0-5. Pretty much complete free farm across the map. If they can get the hex though. Ah, they're only getting the opening. There's no more save though. It's gonna be there, give Nisha a bit of a chance to break out of this initiation from Tundra. They jump across sides, looks towards 33. They push Saxa out towards the side. Nisha beating him down, takes out the Marcy. They look towards the Tempest double next. Tundra losing that Marcy, losing Saxa like this. They're, they're very careful about how they commit for the fight further. Beautiful play, really, from Zayats. Just the way that Tundra kills him. I mean, all eyes on Zayats to go for those yeah. games. Oh, there's again the Hex. So Zayats by his side. He's got to be there every, every time. single time. Zayat's making sure that there's a chance for Nisha to fight back. They can't shoot the furthest. No, no, Nisha's in so much trouble. They're taking it down. He bought out. Out for 80 seconds. He didn't have BKB still available. They, they just commit for him. I don't they, think Secret saw he, that. All he had was the Satanic to rely on. But he, even if he gets that off, he's getting caught in the stuns. Oh. And they oh, they have this word up top too. Rezo. There's a Hex. There's nine again. They've got the chase though. Finding the opening in with the rebound as well. Toss back with the dispose. They take him down before the hex comes to an end and any opportunities there 
for resolution to respond. He's oh. out for 70. He does have buyback himself. Still at 10 seconds without Nisha. Tundra, they're straight down the mid. They take out the range racks. And they'll look to get the melee racks as well. Chrysalis trying to force them away from him. But they don't Crystal care. They him. In fact, they're just going to get aggressive on him. Drag him back in. He has to put the BKB here. And the fantastic. They're trying their best to force out this buyback from Resolution. Another tier 3 is gone. A second set of racks exposed. Look how fast it dies. Are they going to be forced back at all? Fortifications pop. See Nisha. On top of the Tempest Double is soon to come to an end though. Nisha's been caught by the Southern Star there. It's there. Dyer is able to bail the Nisha out. That initiation there from Tundra. Nisha wants the BK. Yeah, he looks towards Santa. But Santa for the BK. He turns towards Crystalis. Disposes there. Crystalis is down. No buyback for him. As a hundred seconds now without their bristle, Rezo, his own BKB to come to an end, he has to back off. Nisha's also going to be so careful, they'll lose Puppy. Two heroes dead, no buyback on them. Tundra, they take a full second set of barracks. Ages, snaking still with the refresher shot. There's no reason, no need for Tundra to back off. They're looking to close this game two out. And the tier fours fall, secret. They'll look to smoke up. One final attempt to stop this push from Tundra, but the Ancient Fool is up by Rezo. Looks to jump in. Skino will drag back Resolution. Resolution trying to get the heal off with the Bloodstone. They'll keep him alive. The hand of God from Puppy will protect him for now. But the Ancient still dying here to the familiar secret. They're trying to push them back, but it's not going to be possible. GG is going to be called. Wow. As game two also going to Tundra, who now lead the series 2-0.